Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and State Farm. When we tested the Mitsubishi Galant GS two years ago, we praised its styling and called it a formidable challenger in the import sedan market. Since then, the car has managed to win over a respectable number of buyers. But Mitsubishi is still an underdog in the import car business, and the underdog always has to work harder if it wants to succeed. To that end, Mitsubishi has introduced another Galant, the GSX. And with it comes something you can't get on all other imported four-doors. The GSX is the all-wheel drive version of the Mitsubishi Galant. The purpose of all-wheel drive in a sedan is to give better traction when road conditions are slippery. But with the GSX, Mitsubishi is clearly appealing to the sports sedan buyer. The GSX comes standard with the most potent engine available in the Galant, a 135-horsepower 4 that has four valves per cylinder. Displacing two liters, it has multi-port fuel injection and Mitsubishi's patented counter-rotating balance shafts, which make this one of the smoothest inline fours around. The look of the GSX is also geared to the sports sedan buyer. There's a monochrome trim scheme, air dams, fog lamps, and a spoiler. The car's price is in keeping with the image, too. The sticker on our car totaled $20,030. The base price is $16,369. Inside, the trim is similar to that of the Galant GS we tested last year. There's a large speedometer and tachometer, but no oil pressure gauge or voltmeter to go with them. The driver does get plenty of legroom. However, headroom is in short supply for six-footers if you order the sunroof. Seat support is good and controls are manual and basic by today's sports sedan standards. The steering wheel also tilts and passive crash protection is provided by motorized seat belts. Drivers who enjoy exit ramps will appreciate the left foot dead pedal for keeping balanced behind the wheel. Controls are easy to see and reach, no problem here, but we have an aversion to plugs or fake switches that Mitsubishi uses on the dash. Our biggest complaint is with the controls on the center dash. While heat and ventilation knobs are well marked and easy to understand, they're a long reach for the driver. The radio is even worse. It's nearly impossible to use it unless you're stopped at a traffic light. But you won't have to stop to get ambient light. This $685 optional glass sliding sunroof illuminates the interior, and a shade is provided to keep the interior from getting too warm. But the GSX's five-speed shifter left us cold. It was notchier than the last GS we tried, with a feel that is not up to the car's sports sedan image. But rear seat passengers won't care about that. Rear seat leg and headroom is good for a car of this size, and three-point seat belts are provided. Though the rear seat doesn't fold, there's a fold-down panel for carrying skis. For carrying everything else, liftover is low, and trunk capacity is respectable for a small sedan, measuring 12.3 cubic feet. With all four of its feet applying power, the Galant GSX accelerates adequately. Our car ran from 0 to 60 in 9.4 seconds. The quarter mile took 17.1 seconds and ended at 82 miles per hour. But this is one of those cars that makes you feel like you're going faster than you are. The engine would happily run the tachometer out of numbers. Unfortunately, the clutch in our car did not rise to the occasion. It felt too light and vague. The ABS brakes worked fine, though, turning in short stops and giving good impressions. The brake pedal has a firm feel and doesn't pulsate wildly when the ABS is engaged. Our car needed only 106 feet on average to stop from 60, an excellent result. We gladly pay the extra $1,500 for this optional system. The GSX's 195-15 tires and alloy wheels are standard, though, and each delivers power to the road in the same amount. Torque split is 50-50 front and rear, unless the viscous coupling center differential senses a slipping wheel, in which case power is delivered as needed to the axle that has the traction. This is the same system used on the Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX and the Eagle Talon TSI all-wheel drive. While all-wheel drive, which applies power more evenly in a turn, improves the handling balance of those turbocharged cars, we're not sure if it matters that much in this less powerful sedan. Our handling test was marred by a power steering pump that ran out of boost in fast maneuvers. It detracted from an otherwise taut, nimble feel. 
but we have to say that we prefer the handling of the front drive GS with its driver adjustable suspension to that of this all-wheel drive GSX. For typical street driving, the GSX is EPA rated for 20 city, 23 highway. We manage 22 on our economy loop. Interior sound measured 67 decibels, which is pleasingly quiet for a car in this size class. In our safety check, the Gallant GSX fails to have airbags for either the driver or front seat passenger. It does have anti-lock brakes and shoulder belts for rear seat passengers. For comparison, the all-wheel drive Toyota Camry all-track has more trunk space, but less rear seat head and leg room. A Camry equipped like our Gallant test car is also $1,000 less expensive, but the Toyota lacks the Mitsubishi sporting pretensions. Audi's all-wheel drive 80 Quattro is much more of a sports sedan than the Gallant, offering a better feeling shifter and better acceleration. It has an even smaller trunk than the Gallant, though, and costs about $4,500 more. Even among its all-wheel drive sedan competitors, Mitsubishi seems to have found a niche for the Gallant. Despite some shortcomings, the Gallant offers a combination of qualities and price you can't find elsewhere. That fact alone should raise the sales figures for this up-and-coming Japanese car maker.